don't got no viewers yet, but I'm going to just get on here and say it because I know y'all go watch from the side view. And this is not to throw shade at nobody or the spiritual community at all. But I can't help but notice I've been seeing a lot of different, you know, a different of a different energy of mixed signals and mixed emotions or whatever what the fuck. I don't know what I just said right there. But um it's listen, for those that don't know how it is going on your spiritual journey. Going on your spiritual journey, especially finding out that you got to basically detox and, you know, get away from the crowd that, you know, that was once familiar to your spirit, what you knew of on this planet, on this physical realm. <clears throat> That's one step you, you got to go through when you hit that spiritual journey. Because when you, you already be chosen from child on up, it ain't no you just one day God just say, it's time to wake up. No. You were chosen before you even got on this motherfucking planet. You just had to remember who you were. You had to, you know, listen to that intuition or, you know, you ever, re you remember small things when you were younger, you used to hear stuff or used to feel certain things about people. You can feel when something about to happen. You super emotional, super sensitive. You can feel certain things. Being super sensitive was one of your main, one of the main, um messages that the mother that mother Gaia and father Roth gave you on this planet was your sensitivity because sensitive people or sensitive you know anybody you can feel different energies by you being so sensitive so when you sensitive to small things like little things like words or used to be like damn why the fuck her words hurt that bad when you was younger that's because words are fucking powerful everything that we was taught went against what we truly are and who we truly are. And I can't help but notice, yeah, I I, my, I know my name is climbing further and further at the top, you know, to be prepared to sit at certain people's tables. But I'm going to say this. You got a lot of people that got this platform. You got a lot of people on here that's very spiritual or they claim to be as spiritual. And they got this big platform they got to uphold. And just like in a regular regular community, like people that don't got that big platform or big views or anything like that. Not that those shade because I know that y'all worked hard for where y'all at. And I understand it and I get it. But you know how you got the, the, the people on the block with you? The one that got the most money. Everybody look up to the nigga with the most money. You get what I'm saying? But they not looking at the people that's trying to get there. They not teaching people how to come across good money. They just all look up to them. If you ain't got no money, certain people don't give a F about you in the streets, in the hood. I'm the motherfucker that's around here really watching what's going on or seeing certain things. Not really watching because I'm existing and I'm living. I can see what's going on in the community around me, but that's my chosen place. This is my where I'm supposed to be at this moment right now. We don't know where, when, and how. So it's just the same way with the fucking spiritual community. Because the people that's high up with the views and the numbers and they didn't heal people and this and that and that, they get more shout outs. They get more acknowledgement. People look at them and be like, oh, okay, meet up with them, all type of shit. But when you got people like myself that's actually out here doing this shit too without the views, without the, it's many like me, healing people, creating, giving people the spaces to create. You know, teaching people how to exist and be your authentic self just by existing and being yourself. Sometimes I don't even sit there and I don't even be all in, you know, everybody else shit. I exist and I be in my own, you know, bubble. But I also don't have a problem with helping the hand. I also don't have a problem with understanding my sensitivity and loving the fact that my body can sense, can sense certain things that's not right. But... It's like every time I come on my social media, and I do not like being on the social media like that, but the main high spiritual people, you do business with them, they take 20000 I get it. I get it. A lot of people want to be here, but that's another story for another day. But it'd be the high rank spiritual people's on our heads. That's one thing I love about Rashad Jamal. When I started... Like, I, I was already aligning and waking up. I was already under so many different spiritual attacks. I was already under so many different things. But when I, when I was introduced to Rashad Jamal, he was just, like, speaking and letting me know that everything that 
I've been experiencing and going through was true because I'm the only person in my family, relatives. I'm the only pe the person in my whole community that see from a different lens than others. And I, I, I know I don't have much views right now, but I know I'm super loud and I'm anxious. That's because I'm I'm a little irritated because this is this is on my head, this is on my heart, this is on my spirit. And listen, I don't go live often, so when y'all see this, see it, like it up, do what y'all do because I know how y'all is. Anywho, what, that's why I love Rashad Jamal so much because he got up on that motherfucker and he spoke. He said what we're not supposed to be eating. He said this and this and that, but he still was existing. Because at the end of the day, we are under attack no matter what. The air we breathe, the carbon dioxide that's in our fucking homes, the motherfucking, our plants is being fucking dumbed down from the shit that they spraying in the fucking air. I know the words, but listen, I'm just saying what the fuck I'm saying. You know, our food is poison. Our coconut oil you ain't authentic. Everything, our natural soaps, our pads and stuff like that. Everybody don't have that alignment of abundance to get all that stuff right now. That's not on everybody, you know, path at that moment. But thank you for introducing it to us because you just put it into our perspective. Our hair. It's like, no matter what, we get attacked from the people that are oppressors. But it's like we get attacked from our motherfucking spiritual guys that we supposed to look up to or not even look up to. I don't even tell people to look up to me or look up to anybody else. Exist, but people can only teach you, um, teach you how to view yourself. People can only show you because everybody so-called is reflections, but I'm starting not to really believe that. Because, let me calm down. This this live shit. This live be throwing me off a little bit, but I know a lot of people gonna see this. I just feel like this. You do got a lot of people, a lot of spiritual people that's that have a lot of views and have a lot of, you know, different type of audience that still reach their hand to the people that still exist. Not everybody enjoy being on live where different people can see their energy right on the fucking screen. Not everybody enjoy that. You know, anything that the woman do, we know is it can create a sickness within us. But have we ever stopped to think while we so busy trying to heal this, heal that, heal ourselves, heal all that. That is a manifestation. You speak it, you feel it, and you, you move on. You just, just like a spell. It's like a ritual. It's like a spell. You cast your spell and you don't speak of the shit no motherfucking more. That's what happens. You cast that spell and you don't speak of it no more. You leave that spell be and let it allow that spell to do its magic and travel to the cosmos. Allow that spell to, to maneuver so it can hit, manifest into your reality. I know a lot of us, we out here, we, 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 we want sickness. We want sickness to be gone. We making sure I don't believe in sickness. I just believe that I don't believe in sickness at all. I just feel like, you know, you do have small bumps in the road through this travel, this journey, you know, we traveling. So I just want to say this. <laughs> we are so all in a race to just be perfect. No matter what, even this is starting to feel like religion again. Everybody is in a rush to be perfect. They want their hair did and locks now. First, we was calling them dreads. Well, excuse me. Well, we, we, we like babies. We have to relearn everything again. We change our motherfucking hair. We no longer want to wear wigs and stuff like that no more because it's not healthy for our skin. So we change it, right? Because we still we still coming into contact with people that's teaching us and showing us, being our teachers, showing us that it's not good to have all these things in your hair. It's not good to shave, right? That's what they tell us. It's not good to really shave like that, especially with the woman. It creates bacteria. And then moments down the line, I'm going to get to that. Um, we're not supposed to eat meat. 
that's a plus. I, I truly feel that because I don't want to eat anything with a soul or a spirit like mine or anything. We are all here on a divine mission. So I do believe that. But trust and believe it is so, it's not as easy as people say it is. Because I'm going to tell you the real motherfucking shit. When I stopped eating meat, I had perfect skin my whole life. People envied my skin. I still have beautiful skin. Don't get me wrong. I love my body. I love this avatar that I'm graced with. But when you stop eating meat, your body go through a detox phase for you don't know how long it's going to be. You can use anything natural. You can go get uh, Betro clay. You can go get, I hope I, didn't, I said it right. You can go get coconut oil. You can do everything the natural way. And these bumps and things like that still will come because that's your body going through a detox. After 20 some years of you eating meat, the body go through a detox and it also can create a, a stress in the body because the body not used to that. Even though the body natural way is to be without meat, but so many years you have been consuming that. So your body kind of adjusted to that behavior. They don't tell you that. That your fucking face break out. No filter today. Right? Right? Okay, bet. So I went on to the journey of getting locks. I got tired of putting heat in my hair. I got tired of all that hair stuff. This was my own decision. Nobody nobody put that in my in my head. To ch nobody can change what I want, you know, about myself. I get locks. I got tired of the heat and all the chemicals. Nobody said when you get locks, it put a strain on your hair and you, your forehead can break out as well because your hair is going back into this natural state. Nobody said that, right? Nobody said how they come up. Everybody in this spiritual spiritual community is starting to put people back into a bubble of religious religion. That's what it's going off into. It's going back into religion, man. And excuse my emotions, but I must say, I'm speaking for the people that's around me. I'm speaking for the people that I see in my community that want healing so bad to where they want to take it from you. They see you healing your energy, your vibrations radiant, and they want to take it from you because it's so hard to consume this type of this type of frequency by trying to live life perfectly. You trying to live life and you keeping up with the spiritual community, not just me keeping up with them, but I try to do what's best for my, my avatar. Y'all tell us, oh, makeup ain't good for you. But what about telling the woman that she is her own motherfucking creation? She can exist and be exactly who she want to be each day she leave her home. You tell us you want us more natural. We get natural and we start healing and eating better. And you still can't look at us for more than five minutes because you still get intimidated by the black woman or the goddess, period. Yeah, it's, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for nobody else. I'm doing this for me. But it's so many people out there with the views and all this and all that. And they telling you what you should do, what you shouldn't do. How about we motherfucking just exist? We gonna be under attack for a long time until we really get the courage to push these bitches on and they already leaving. We not on this planet to live forever, but I, I am with the eating better far as the, the limiting the meat or don't eat meat at all. And if you do, you know, eat what you want to eat, but don't over consume it. Anything or too much is too bad. It's bad for us. Eating the same plant for a whole month straight is not good for you. It could create a sickness after a while because you know why? Too much of anything is not right for the body. And I know I'm emotional. This this subject make me emotional. And I hope y'all kind of understand me. And I hope I'm speaking to where I can be understood. But I am speaking for the people that's out here actually doing the work. 
healing themselves, healing their minds, removing their energy from unwanted people that don't want, don't accept their energy as it is. I'm so sick of hopping on my platform. I went through a detox on social media. I went through my Instagram. And I unfollowed every motherfucking piece of energy that I feel like can't help benefit my knowledge or help my mind expand. And I stayed in contact with the spiritual community. I see why a lot of people still don't feel comfortable to reach the hand out to the spiritual community. Because then when you start doing business with them, they, they leave you on a whole motherfucking empty. You, don't even, you can't even get a, a response no more. You can't even get spoke to anymore. You can't get, you know, proper information. How do you want me to take you serious? And I understand that you have a lot going on, but how do you want people as me or people, period, to take you serious if you're not standing on your business? Even the spiritual community don't know if they talking to a real or true God or goddess. Most of them, I sit back and I pay attention to the energy, bro. Everybody on here speaking, you got people rapping about certain things. Telling you that this is that and this is that and this is that. It's still low-key promoting fear to the people that's waking up into this spiritual community. People, some people be like, damn, I'm a little scared. You know, some people still going through that phase. You gotta, if you a teacher and you a universal teacher, sit straight from the divine, you're gonna learn, you're gonna know how to teach from all different stepping stones. You're gonna learn, you're gonna know how to teach the ones that's just now learning. We are all still babies. I'm probably in my teenage stage of spirituality. You never know. The thing that, what I'm trying to say is this. Stop looking up, at, stop looking up to these spiritual teachers or these people that's teaching you. Take the knowledge that they give you. Listen to your discernment. Take this knowledge that they give you, but just exist, baby. You go run yourself in a grave early if you too busy trying to hurry up and get this together, get this together, get this together. Perfect this, be this, do this, do this, do that, eat this, eat that, don't eat that, don't eat that. Because now it's putting a strain on your heart, on your mind, on your body. It's so many people out here really looking up to y'all. And they look up to you so much to the point you contradict yourself and they be like, wait, hold on. Did he just tell us not to eat meat? And then he still eating meat? Did he just tell us we not supposed to shave because it can give us affection? But then he go and contradict himself weeks later. I'm sorry, I can't be with a woman with hair up under her arms. You gotta shave. Did she just say, if we don't start changing our way of thinking or looking at white people, stuff like that, which is true, we're going to have a big problem with the divine and our ancestors and stuff like that. But yet she turn around and still say, these white motherfuckers are this or that, they this or that or that, they from the caucus mom, this or that or that. We all contradict our fucking selves at this point. What are we in a race for? Don't you think before we came here, the divine told us that everything is an illusion? Everything is a fucking illusion? What you eat is an illusion? You can go and get the healthiest fruit and that motherfucker could be a whole illusion? How about we can create our own reality within our bodies and the realms within us to manifest health and take the nutrition we need out of this unhealthy bullshit and our body take and feed off what it can. If we can fast for 40 days and 40 nights and things like that without anything happen to, happening to us, don't you think the body will be able to do is magic. What 
God we turn you into. We try so hard to be this or be that and go back into our original form. True. They have lied to us. We should be angry. If the mission is to heal your people and you charge them so much fucking money to heal them, you are giving them the only option to run back to the motherfuckers that's killing them. I know shipping and things like that costs. I do. I know that. And I know people do their best to help the communities that really need their help. I gotta turn this light off. I need natural light. People in the spiritual community is making me look at them, look at them with so much disgust. So much disgust. I don't care what a motherfucker do. You listen to your discernment. You pay attention to your energy. You study people. You watch the, you watch them. If you want them to be a part of your reality or that you they want you to be a part of their reality, study them first. Watch them. And do the same with me. Don't trust in my word. Feel Hopefully you can feel where I'm coming from or what I'm trying to say or get out. No matter if I had a thousand and a hundred and something views on here right now. still for the exact way I feel right now. There's people really around here dying because they're trying to live a perfect, healthy life. Do you know vegans can die too? Transcend too? Do you know healers can transcend too? When it's your time to go home, it's your time to go home. don't mean to upset nobody's ego because we all got to have balance within our ego and our higher selves we have to and our lower selves it's called balance but I can only do what the divine feminine can do exist in my sensitivity exist in my emotion I sat up and watched Rashad Jamal get taken away and, and right now it's not in alignment for me to be in his presence or be where he is. But listen, baby, my energy is so potent. I don't even got to explain much. He could feel the energy I sent him. Anybody could. If I send it to you, you'll feel it. I don't watch that man been taken, been taken for, what, nine months, ten months? I don't know how long. You know, I have a choice. I, I, I have to exist no matter what. But the same people that spoke highly of him when it first happened, everything went silent. And these were the people he trusted or he was around. These were the people he was around. I don't know if they still there now, but one person just messaged me back at a whole year later after I asked updates about him. I said, I sent this a whole year ago. You don't see anything on... I've been stalking everybody's pages 
today to see what's going on with Shah Jama with Divine Insight. And I hear nothing from no one right now. I don't know what's going on. But I know for a fact that he's protected and he's okay. But what are we truly coming back into? Everybody is just slowly going back into a religious bubble. The pressure is still fucking boiling and high on a divine goddess. The pressure is still high on the goddess. The lashes we wear, you still look at it with a fence. Just like the Christians. Look at her, got on that skirt and they got on them lashes and them nails. Looking ratchet as hell. Then a spiritual community. Yeah, she got her locks and stuff like that. But look at her nails. Look at her lashes. Look at the makeup she got on. Look at her feet. Look at the, the clothes she's wearing. What a fucking body. It creates sickness and stuff like that. How about we can fucking exist and the divine go protect us no matter what if we on this motherfucker doing our mission. You got the opportunity to create whatever you want to create. Be you. Exist in you. And I love everything I do for me, baby. I love my locks. I love my, 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 my chunkiness. I love all of this about me. It's nothing about me I don't love. Now, I love it because it's mad, but I don't like that crust up under the, the, when your feet get old and stale and you got to shave the shit off. I don't care for all that. No. What I do care for <laughs> is some cute, clean feet. <laughs> and I keep them clean, baby. And I keep them cute. I wish I could see them. Hold on, let me see. I don't know. Yeah. All I'm saying is this. I feel it so deeply in my core and my soul. That no matter what. The, 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 the divine feminine, the goddess, is a threat to a lot of motherfuckers. You gotta be a powerful motherfucker to have everybody threat, threatening, threatening or whatever, threatened by your motherfucking whole existence. You wear lipstick, red, you a whore. You wear this, you a whore. You don't have your natural locks in, you this. You wear makeup, you hiding who, how you feel about yourself. You do this, you do that, you do this. You wearing them tight pants, it's gonna give you a yeast face. You putting spells on us. Along with the oppressor. Because we know the oppressor out here doing everything he can. From the medicine, from the schools, from the books, from the TikToks, from the YouTubes, from everything. No matter where we go, we can't hide from the bullshit that, that's trying to destroy us. We are constantly under attack all the time. The goddesses, if it was up to me, if it was truly up to me and my tribe of goddesses, it'll be no motherfucker never. No man on this motherfucker. No man. It will be all women again. All goddesses. Now, some of them can be wicked, but you can spot them motherfuckers out. But at least we know how to unite when it's time. No matter what we do, we get under, we get put under spells from the day we come out the womb. We breaking curses from the age 10 all the way on up to 20 something every man we meet is the man we attract because of what the man our and our family the men in our family did to us huh and the women too but most of the men they introduced this toxic narcissistic energy to you so that your body can be used to it and you can fucking attract it Because they're afraid of the divine feminine actually coming in union with that being. That
that's gonna motherfucking feel everything she feel and say and speak what she speak. I know y'all trying to help y'all people as y'all say y'all are. And I'm not going to take that from you, from all the people you've helped. But I do believe you done sprinkled your ego on a lot of shit too. You feel like you don't have to do much because you feel like you're there. You feel like you you, you go could just come off rude to anybody. You feel like, I feel like the, the ones that's high spiritual ranked, they want you to worship them. Everybody's still worshiping them. They worshiping motherfucking, um, not to, they worshiping these people. I don't want to say no names, but y'all worship them. Because they got the views. They got their name out there in the streets. They this and that and that. They got all this money. They got all this wisdom, right? Y'all worship them. And then they contradict themselves. And then y'all like, damn. Damn, left us hanging. It's going to be a lot of motherfucking spiritual people going against each other now. And that's why I stay my ass to myself. Because I be trying to connect and be cool. I be trying to find my little, well not find, I be trying to communicate with my little soul tribe and stuff like that. But I guess mother and father said them ain't your true soul tribes. Maybe not right now. In this journey right now. Because they doing it for the views. They doing it for that. And it's like I can see this in people. And that's why people get kind of scared when they speak to me. And they don't notice. I can sense their energy shift. Because I can sense it in you that you bullshit. You not who you, you, you not what you speaking of. And if you are speaking of this and you are living that life, you, you not doing right, truly right by your people. And I'm not saying just live your life and do right by your people. No, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is don't be out here teaching people things and then contradict yourself and then turn around. Because there is people that still look up to people like you that's younger than me. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is. Give people the chance. Because there's people like myself around here healing and doing all type of stuff. And they know they're just, we all need help. And it's like, it's people make it hard for us to come ask to, for help. They judge every fucking thing we do. They, oh, no microwaves, no this, no this, no this, no this. Everything is radiation. The 5G tower is radiation. Oh, turn your Wi-Fi off at night. Do this, do that. No ACs. Go out in the sun 24 eight. Do this, do that, do this, do that, do this. It sounds like y'all just dangling the carrot too. Telling us to do all this. And then you still get it. Basically, by the time, if we really just trust in everything that these people say, by the time these motherfuckers done telling us what we don't need, what we just need, our motherfucking whole house will be empty. We'll literally be living right back in the forest. And they'll be in their big ass houses. Exist, bro. Listen to it for a little entertainment every blue moon, but exist and keep it pushing, bro. Because these... I'm I'm no longer taking these people serious. I I'd rather take a homeless man serious. A man that's walking around here that I ain't never seen before. And all of a sudden he walking up my block with a buggy and he speaks some words of wisdom to me. I I'd rather look to towards him for wisdom than these motherfuckers nowadays. Because all the knowledge is inside you. They just remind you of what is already in, inside you. Everybody just gotta exist and I, I I will say this if you can stay away from like perms and stuff like that or stay away from toxic men that can lay up in you and, and send off motherfucking spiritual uh, STDs um 
Stay away from meat. I will say that. I will say that. But other than that, exist, baby. You're going to kill yourself quicker trying to follow these motherfucking rules or commandments that everybody putting out there. We already knew what, what was going to happen when we came to this planet. You Nothing changed overnight. The, the, the fruit about faker than a motherfucker. The fruit more faker than the hot Cheetos, motherfucker. At this point, I'd rather eat the Cheetos than the hot the fruit at this point. Because the fruit hat can be so potent from you eating that bullshit. At least the chip of actual potato sprinkled with a lot of salt and a few chemicals. You eating a whole fruit that was grown and modified from in there. You eating a clone fruit. They don't ever watch my life, though. That's because these motherfuckers is weird. They feel that energy. But a time shall, shall pass. <laughs> and everything is going to be like, I told you so. Because I know, because I'm a creator. You really just got to, maybe that's why people do the shit that they do. You order some herbs and things like that for them. They take 20 long ass years and yada, yada, yada. Maybe that's their way of saying just get your own book and learn how to do it yourself. Stop putting so much faith in their hands. Stop spending all your money on them and spend your money on the knowledge and just go and search and look for it yourself. Some things in America, it is hard to come across, but, you know, the divine will grace it, give it to you exactly when you need it the most. That's facts. And I'm going to keep this live up here because I don't give a fuck no more. I don't care how people view me. I don't care if people support. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm truly existing and I'm doing what the fuck ever I want to do when I'm in when I'm pushed or I'm in need to do that shit. And I know I didn't say a lot. My words was kind of I said a lot. But I know my words was kind of scrambling. You got to listen to your listen to your discernment. Let your discernment kick in more on here, okay? And take that judgmental Christian religion bullshit you learned from out the Bible out of your mental and listen freely at your own pace, at your own. If you watch this whole video at your own pace, baby. Because I'm just expressing, I'm showing you. There's other ways to just live. I'm done with that shit. And I'll fuck all y'all motherfuckers that think because you got views. And you got all these different people watching you. That you have the authority to speak in a different type of manner. Or you have authority to send whatever they pay for it when you feel or when you got... I don't, I just, I, I ain't, I ain't throwing, I ain't beefing with nobody because I don't even eat beef. That's facts. But I must say this. I don't give a fuck what y'all teaching, preaching, or thinking. Because I trust in only me and my divine at this point. But it's, it's just, it's just, it's the... It's the bullshit for me. See, y'all run from the authentic, the ones that's truly existing, like myself and others. Y'all run from them because y'all know we got the sight to see through all y'all bullshit. Y'all run from us. Y'all quick to hide and be like, oh shit, hold on, she see some shit in me. I didn't think nobody else seen, but she do. Y'all run from motherfuckers like me. Because y'all afraid. Give a fuck how many views they got. They run from motherfuckers like me. That's why they don't want to watch nothing until I post it. That's that. That's why they don't want to have active conversations with me because until I post it. But good. That way y'all don't gotta fucking distract me when I'm talking. I like having it like this. But you will see. 
the last shall be first and the first shall be motherfucking last. So when y'all be saying that saying and y'all all the way up there, know that that saying is coming from the divine to speak upon you as well. You healing your motherfucking people for so much fucking money. Don't you think you're going to get karma for that? Don't you think you finna get karma for that? Don't you think the divine God, Mother Nature, looking at you like, why the fuck you picking what I'm giving you for free and you charging your people so much motherfucking money to heal them? You don't think you getting karma for that? Well, I'm here to let you know you're getting karma. Because if one million people give you one dollar for your product, you are now a motherfucking millionaire. If 20,000 people give you $5 or no, I was, I'm just using a dollar. If 20,000 people give you a dollar, you now have $20,000. That's called true motherfucking businesses. That's called people that truly look at people and want to help. Now, I'm not saying help everybody and be all up in their face. You get them, they shouldn't keep it pushing. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying create a relationship with everybody you heal. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the reason why the pharmaceuticals getting so much motherfucking money is because they get they rep they giving these people motherfucking insurance. Hmm. Giving them insurance so really they ain't gotta pay much. And here you is charging them all this motherfucking money. Man, wait. <laughs> Just wait and see. You go see my name again. All you motherfuckers go see my name. My name is go ring bells and y'all go be running then. But I don't give a fuck. My name, y'all go see my name. Y'all already see it. But trust me, K Nirvana, you not go ever forget my name. Now, I ain't perfect. Hell no. I ain't know her who's, uh, all the time. No. It's called balance. I'm existing. I'm showing people how to truly exist and love you. Because they talk about the goddess, the goddess, but they keep saying, oh, you got all this weight on you. You this, you unhealthy goddess, or you eating this, or you. They still attacking no matter what. My soul is what's in this body. Nigga, I'm burling this motherfucker. After all the knives and all the hits and all the fires and all the stabs and all the motherfucking spells that was placed upon this motherfucking avatar I have. You don't see none of y'all so-called spiritual motherfuckers talking about Venus, the goddess of fertility, the plus-size goddess. Y'all talking about the one that's only in a museum with the big fat ass that they made fun of. You're not talking about the motherfucking goddesses that's out here. They got more power than any motherfucking being they come across. Because they know how to use the flesh that's, in, that's on their fucking vessel at this point at, on their avatar. You so motherfucking spiritual. You so motherfucking powerful. But you still try to leave certain motherfuckers out. You still leave the, 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 the figured women out. The goddesses out. The ones that's chunky. You make them feel less than them. But baby, I'm more than. You think I don't sense when a motherfucker like, mm-mm, she too dead, she too dead. You think I don't sense that? But I bet you, you put me in a motherfucking party with all pretty... Bad shape Brazilian butt lift motherfuckers are natural. It don't matter. And you will see. I don't gotta say much, but you will see. I bet you yo yo healing yo yo ass in need of healing, true healing. I bet you I pull yo my energy pull you to me. I bet you you gravitate to me. And I never, I not never made that shit up. I never I see it off I see it. Anywhere I go. Women and men. But I love men. Guys. I don't want to. 
Can't no girl don't know for me. Period. It's not about the looks. It's not about the flesh. It's about your motherfucking soul, your authority, your motherfucking energy, your essence, your motherfucking gods dripped in gold and silver that walk around, walk amongst you, with you, spiritually. Man, it's enough looking into these motherfuckers. Fuck all these motherfuckers. That's how I feel. Fuck all of them. If they ain't vibing on your frequency, man, get the fuck off they, they platforms. These motherfuckers pulling in the energy that's attracted to their ass at this point. They feel like, oh, we got to see proof before we post her or anything about her. We have to see stone cold proof that she making sure everything is being healed and things like that. We got to have proof. <laughs> yeah, okay. You will have proof when I pull up in your dream world. People know. But alright y'all, I'm out of here. Peace and love. I'm out of here. And I'm going to say this video for y'all. And I'm going to say this video for me because I'm posting this somewhere else. Because y'all going to motherfucking hear my name today. My mouth. Free Rashad Jamal, baby. He real. That's a real motherfucking guy. The real ones they always get in them, them shits. He a real motherfucking god. That man sat up there and ate hot Cheetos on his, one of his lectures. And was like, man, I don't give a fuck. All this shit ain't good for us. Nigga, we so powerful, nothing could destroy us, nigga. Until it's time for us to go home. Now I can see if something really, truly sitting up there killing you. And you gonna keep eating what's killing you. Yeah, I can see that. But no. Ain't nobody just want nothing to kill them. Ain't nobody even eating the same meal for too long. Over here. Peace out. <laughs> No filter today. I'm a little hot because my AC let me down. <sighs> my AC didn't come on. Shit. I love my AC. I love my son too. I love the greater things that I have in life that I manifested and I created in my motherfucking reality. I love that every blue moon I can go eat me a nice little piece of fish and do a detox after that. I love that I can fast, but sometimes it get hard to fast and sometimes I break the fast and I know I be mad at myself. But I love that I'm existing on this planet here today. I love that I can communicate with the spirit, the plants, the animals, the frequency, the anything. I love the messages I get from the divine. I love when I see my people all around the globe giving you downloads and messages as well. I love all this shit, man. When it's my motherfucking moment, it's my moment. And trust and believe the people that's sitting there, most of these people that y'all are trusting in motherfucking tables, they cut you. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. So, 